the six of them and don't I called this meeting to express my happiness over the way both of you conducted yourselves and assisted me during the burial of your father, my older brother, the late king of Obama in your Google kingdom. Um, it shows the majority both of you have attained. It also showed that the blood flowing in your veins is the same blood that flowed in my brother's vein. So thank you very much for such an honor. We should be the ones thanking you for being a very sweet uncle. <laughs> sweet in the sense that you were quite supportive. You, you, you proved that you and my father were pretty close. You helped a great deal. A few things that we were not familiar with as well as our culture. Uh, you made really, really easy. So we can confidently say that our late father, the king, um, had a very befitting burial because of your help. So thank you. <laughs> I am the one that is supposed to be thanking you for such honor to my late brother. You know, my brother the king was a very wonderful brother to me. So thank you once more mm -hmm. for according him a befitting burial. You're welcome. Uh, Uncle, you're very correct. But I want to let you know that uh, there is not everyone that will go extra miles the way you did to give your brother, our father, a gifting burial. So on that note, we are saying thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, the <laughs> man. Since my very little effort was well appreciated by you people. Who am I to say no? <laughs> <laughs> um, Prince Uzadema. Yes. The next thing in the line is preparation for your coronation as the next king of Obama in your kingdom. So, I want to encourage you to do everything within your powers to ensure that all the necessary arrangements for that day is put in place. So now what is wrong with you now? Eh? Why are you always behaving like this? Please, allow me to go out. I have an important meeting to attend to. That is your business and I don't care. I don't care. If you like, have a meeting with the president of this country. I don't care. All I know is that you're going to make love to me right now. Ah, Sonia. That's what I know. Sonia, why are you behaving like this? Why are you behaving like someone who have lost it? Eh? You're asking me to make love to you this morning when I'm telling you I have a, a meeting to attend to. Mike, you're very wicked. You are heartless. What have I done to you now that you're starting me of sex every day? Hey. All you do is go out there and have it with those prostitutes. Hey, 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 mind the way you talk to me. Don't even use such words on me. My God will punish you. He will punish you too. I will give you a dirty slap now. What kind of rubbish is this now? Yeah. Leave enough for me to go to work I'm now. Story, Kawai. You're not going anywhere. You're giving it to me today and right now. Sonia, I'm not doing anything now. What is your problem now? You're doing. I'm not doing. You're doing. Oh, yeah, take it now. I'll take it to I'll you. I'll take it now. I don't have a chance to come here. I'm going to come here. Leave the road now. What's your problem? Story. Come on, pass now. What kind of nonsense is this? You're a very wicked man. A very wicked man. Starting your wife on sex every day. There's no problem. You know that 
that is not true. Since you came back from the meeting you had with your brother and your uncle, you've been very moody. What is troubling you? So by that you're suggesting that I'm lying. I just want to know what is troubling my husband. I'm fine. Thank you. What did I hear you say now? Were you expecting problem in a peaceful meeting I had with my late brother's children? No, no, not at all. Then why did you ask me such a stupid question? Sorry, sir. You better be. Come and serve me my food. I'm hungry. Yes, sir. Nonsense. Was Uncle Dimba angry that I didn't attend the meeting? Well, not really, oh, okay. but um, he expressed concern at the end of the meeting that he did not attend the meeting. So what really happened? Why didn't you attend the meeting? I forgot. And there was serious traffic on the road and that affected my movement. If not, I would have been back greeting. If not, I would have been back before the meeting or why the meeting was still going on. It's all right. It's all right. I will advise you to find a time to see Uncle Udemba and explain everything to him, okay? Okay, I will do that. Find a time as well to speak with um, Prince Odemba. Okay, right. I will talk to him. It's okay. Thank you very much for everything. I appreciate it. Okay. Your brother just slumped. He just slumped. Come, please. What, what, what happened? I don't know. He just slumped. Come. What do you mean by he slumped? Just, just slumped already. Let's go. It is now very clear to me that Sonia wants to rubbish my name in this town and kill me. Mike, why are you saying this? Kenneth, you needed to be there to see the level of embarrassment she gave to me. But I thought, I thought she's changed. No, she hasn't. She has become worse than before. All she does is accuse me of having an affair with all the prostitutes in town. My God, um, you yeah. are my man, you know. See, look me in the face and tell me the whole truth. See here, I'm, I'm like your, your lawyer, you understand? I am the only person that can talk to Sonia and she will calm down. Just tell me the honest truth. Are you having an extra marital affair? Kenneth! What kind of question is that one now? You of all people, no, now you should stop asking me that kind of question now. Eh? Okay. Is something speaking through you? I only want to. No, 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 no! Don't ask me that kind of question. You know I don't do that kind of thing now. I don't put this thing in different places. I just channel it in one direction. You know, as my man, no. changes one. No, 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 no! I, I don't like that kind of question. I don't like, even like that kind of change. Eh? Don't do that now. You know I love Sonia. Why, why, why would I want to hurt her? Eh? Kenneth, stop all this thing. If you're joking, stop it. I don't like this kind of joke. Sorry. I don't like it. Sorry. Doctor, I don't know. But his wife is here. She can explain better. Doctor, I noticed he was very moody when he came back after having a meeting with his uncle. I tried asking him what the problem was. He said nothing. I still persuaded. He said there was no problem. Then I went to the bathroom to ease myself. I'm coming out. I, I saw him slump. So we brought him to the hospital. It's okay. When he slumps, did he fall to the ground? No, no, no. I was fast enough to get him before he got to the floor. Doctor, what could possibly be the problem? Honestly, I don't really. But all I can tell you from now is that 
his blood pressure is on a very high side. But we've been able to administer some drugs of him. Our advice will wait patiently for the results of the test we carried out on him to come. Then we will be able to know exactly what is wrong with him. Oh, doctor. Is he going to be fine? He will definitely be fine. You don't need to worry yourself. Okay? Doctor, no, doctor, please, can we at least see him? I want to see my husband. I'm sure you can see him, but not immediately. I will advise you give him some time because he needs to rest. Come on, don't panic. He will be fine. The best thing we could did for him was to bring him when you brought him. It's okay, Doctor. Thank you. So don't worry. What really happened to him? Uncle, I can't explain. All I know is that the wife ran to Prince Onyeka and I to tell us that Prince Uzodima slumped in his room. So where is the prince, his wife, and Onyeka? Um, they moved him to a private ward, though I don't know the particular one, but his wife and Prince Onyeka are with the doctor in his office. It's okay, it's alright. I, I will soon join you. Oh, okay, that's fine, Uncle. It's past 12 midnight. And a man that calls himself a responsible husband is yet to come back home. He's out there with another woman. While his wife is here in this house dying of loneliness. <laughs> Did I do something wrong by getting married? To this man. Did I? God, what kind of marriage is this? It's been a month ever since I got married to Mike and he's yet to touch me. It's been from one excuse to another. <laughs> Who knows the woman he's with right now? Who knows? My husband, what is the problem? Why are you still awake? I wish I can find sleep. What is the problem? What is it that has taken sleep away from your eyes? The prince and the throne. I just buried my older brother, the king of Obama in your cooking down. And the heir apparent of the throne just slumped today and was rushed to the hospital. He is there lying critically ill. Honestly, I am worried. Is that why you have decided to deprive yourself of your precious sleep? <laughs> eh? Of what use is sleep to me? Tell me, why will I sleep when the next king of our kingdom is lying critically ill in the hospital? Just tell me, why will I sleep when the king chief of this kingdom is threatened by, by something inexplicable, something I cannot explain? Tell me. At, at this point in my life, I don't need sleep. You need sleep. My husband, you need sleep. I mean, there's nothing you can do. Are you the doctor? Are you God? What do you have to do here? Just commit everything into the arms of God. That's all. 
Please, uh, come, let's go and sleep. Binye, oh? Come. You don't seem to understand, honestly. How is he doing this morning? He's fine. Did you say fine? Yes. How can he be fine when he's lying on the bed? He actually woke up last night after you left. He spent some time with us last night before he went back to bed. He was the first person to wake up this morning. He slept off some minutes ago because of the drugs and injection administered to him. Are you for real? Mm -hmm. oh, this is good news. At least Uncle Demba will be a bit relieved. I had he couldn't sleep last night, asking the gods to preserve the crown prince. Sonia, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Sonia, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Sonia! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sonia! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't worry, I can handle it. I can handle it. I can handle it, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry, please. Hello. It's your Demba. Thank you for your color. No. You're welcome. Yeah, without wasting time, let me go straight to the reason I invited you here. I'm out here, so go ahead. Good. Jividemba, now that we have successfully buried our king, every rite and ritual performed accurately in accordance with the traditions of our land, I want to ask you, is the crown prince, Prince Zodemba, ready to commence the ritual process that will see him emerge as the new king of our kingdom? Oh no. Udemba. Before I will answer you that question, let me get something clear. Go ahead. Did you invite me here in your capacity as do you know, traditional prime minister or as a concerned individual? Well, Udemba, whichever. The thing is that I did not invite you here just in my capacity as the Prime Minister of this Kingdom. But I invited you here as the Odno, the Prime Minister, also as a very close friend to the royal household, and of course as a concerned citizen. Mm. Mm. Oh, no. <coughs> Remember? The Crown Prince needs our prayers. Yes, he needs our prayers very urgently for the gods to see him through. No, no, I, I don't understand that the crown prince needs our prayers very urgently for the gods to see him through. What, what, um, what will the gods be seeing him through for? I don't understand, yes. The words have ears. Oh, yes, I know. So let me whisper to you. Crown Prince is sick. He slumped yesterday and we rushed him to hospital. As I speak with you, he is in the hospital. But, but, but I, 
I saw the prince yesterday when I went to the palace. Uh, she wouldn't buy you sure of what you are saying. Oh no. I am a true son of my father. I know the implications of war to speak ill against the king or the crown prince. So take it to the bank. The crown prince is sick. Prince Uzalema, honestly speaking, I will describe what happened to you as a very mysterious illness. In my entire career as a medical doctor, I don't think I have ever come across such a case before. The level of your blood pressure when you were brought in here yesterday was really something else. But, doctor, you made us believe that it wasn't something serious. <laughs> yes. And that was simply because I didn't want to create fear amongst your people. But trust me when I say he's fine. My prince, you are very fine and you are free to go home if you want to. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tony. Uh, you have done well. Thank you for going above and beyond to help me get back on my feet. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. I want to say thank you to everyone here, especially my wife and my sister. We show up every day and do their best to ensure that I'm fine. I'm, I'm happy. I can just wait to get back home. Uh, my prince, you, you don't need to thank us. We did what we were supposed to do as a family. Thank you. Of course. They are wonderful people. I literally love you. Thank you. I wish you all the best. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Mike, you must perform your conjugal duty on me as your wife. What kind of wickedness is this? Eh? It's been one month ever since we got married and you haven't touched me. What is going on? There is nothing going on. Huh? I will do it whenever I decide. After all, marriage is not all about sex. What did you just say? You must make love to me tonight. Sonia, you lie. That cannot happen. Not after you humiliated my secretary for me today. Sonia, you disgraced me. Mm. Be prepared to see the worst disgrace until you stop messing around with all the prostitutes in this town. Who did you just call a prostitute? You opened that gutter of the mouth to call my secretary a prostitute. So, have sex in this house in the next few months. Eh? You lie. A very big lie because I'm having it tonight. You're giving it to me. Dad, what I'm is this? Come on. You don't this pillow. I know my husband. Give it to me. Come on. Give it to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. I want to thank the gods for sparing your life and bringing you back in peace. <clears throat> Three days ago, before you were rushed to the hospital, we had a meeting here. And on that very meeting, I told you to prepare yourself to accept the throne of our forefathers as the next king of Obama and Yogo kingdom. So I want to ask you now, how prepared are you? Uncle, I... I'm not sure you're going to like this, but the truth is that I'm not 
prepared for now. <laughs> what do you mean that you are not prepared for now? Listen, Uncle, uh, let me just get straight to it. Uncle, I do not want to become king. Ha! Ah! I'm not interested. What did I just hear you say? My friends. Yes. You're joking, right? You don't joke with something as important as the throne of this kingdom. I'm not joking. I, Uncle, I do not want to become king. I'm really not interested. So what are you doing if you're not joking? <laughs> eh, let me pretend I did not hear you say this. But Prince Hussein, the man, prepare yourself for the rites and rituals that will see you become the next king of Obama and your kingdom. Period. Kenneth, Sonia is now a thorn on my flesh. That lady is too strong to be a wife for crying out loud. Huh? I really wish I knew getting married to her would have given me this level of pain. I wouldn't have done that. I swear, I wouldn't. What is her problem this time? She keeps on accusing me of having extramarital affairs. Mike, you know me too well now. I love my wife to hurt her. Do I have any other woman apart from Sonia? Well, to the best of my knowledge, no. You see? I really wish, I really wish you can help me talk to her. Make her to understand that I do not do the things that she thinks that I'm doing. Mike, why don't you give your wife the attention she needs? I, I really wish I can, but I cannot. I cannot do that because I'm a very busy man. I don't want to be poor again. I do not want my family to, to pass through the things that I've faced in the past. See, my brother, that God changed your story and lifted you from grass to grace should tell you that he will never allow you to go down the grave. Amen. And more to that, you know the money I, I told you about, don't forget <laughs> Ken. You know I need to sort some things. Uh, well, it's not an issue. It's not an issue. When we get to our destination, we'll make the transfer for you. I was still thinking about your wife, the ascension. It's very important. Come on. Ken, you know this thing is not possible. Or is it possible, eh? I'm, I'm not Unyomu, but this is possible like that. It's not what you think. You're joking, right? Exactly the same question I asked him in the living room a few minutes ago. In the presence of Uncle Odemba. He looked at me in the face and asked, Why will he joke with something as serious as the throne of this land? This is serious. Very serious indeed. So, what did Uncle Demba say? In his words, he said, Let me pretend that I didn't hear what you just said. My prince, prepare yourself for the rites and rituals that will see you become the next king of this land. Good. I like that. You think that that will make him change his mind? Does he have a choice? We can't afford to lose the throne to another family. He has to become the king. I am thinking. Does he really know what he is doing? We have to talk to him. I have done that. He asked to be left alone. Really? Yes. This is serious. What is going on? We have to do something. Yes, we have to. Why would you say such a thing to them? Why would you open your mouth to tell your younger brother and your uncle that you are not interested in your life and that's true? Why can I not say that? Is it by force to become king of this land? Prince Suzade, your late parents, especially your father, will be so ashamed of you right now in this way. If you say that to me again, I'm going to slap you. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Snap me! But that will not stop me from telling you the truth! What truth? What truth do you want to tell me? What truth do you know? What do you think you're talking about? That huh? you are not supposed to tell them what you told them! Really? 
Yes. So you think I woke up and suddenly decided not to be king without a tangible reason? Okay. I'm listening. Tell me. It is too late. That is the first thing you should have done when you walked in here. Huh? But you... Get up and get out. I want to be alone. Out. Now. Move. Don't make me apply force. Nora. Move. More like I'm leaving. I don't know why I'm leaving. Tradition is tradition. Ordinana banyo. If a jimalan you know. If you know me na na. Has your husband told you what he said to Uncle Udemba and Prince Onyeka earlier today? I'm aware. And honestly, I don't think my husband knows what he's doing. What do you mean by that? Can you believe that your brother almost slapped me just because I told him that your late father We'll be so ashamed of him for taking such a decision. Would you believe that? Princess Adima is absolutely disgrace all of us. This is serious. Has it gotten to that extent? <sighs> hey, hey! How could he say such a thing? Prince Uzodema wants to drag the family name to the mud. Too bad I didn't see it coming. This is unbelievable. Highly unbelievable. Are the elders aware of this? Not yet, but they will soon know. My husband, they don't need to know yet. Let's see if the prince will change his mind and accept the kingship. What if he doesn't change his mind? What do we do? This is no good news at all. It's not any good news. So Prince Uzodema wants the kingship of this family to, 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 to be taken away from us. No way. It cannot happen. I said no way. Not while I'm alive. Listen, Prince Uzodema must take up the responsibility. It is his responsibility. He must fill in that gap. My husband, how is it going to happen? <laughs> Are you going to force him to become the king? Our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh, tradition is tradition. For the nana banyo, if a jimalan you know, if you know me nana, yeah, oh me nana gani gide. Princess Odima, we want to have a word with you. I hope all is well. All is not well, and you know it. I see. Uh, what is the problem, Oneka? We want to know why you have refused to become the king of this great kingdom as demands by the tradition. Let me ask you, Neka Chuku. Do I not have the right to either reject or accept becoming the next king? I ask because I'd really like to know what is wrong with you. Do you all want to force me to become king against my wish? We are not trying to force you to become the king. But it is very wrong of you to reject the throne of your forefathers. My prince, our father, the late king, 
will not be happy with you for rejecting the throne. <laughs> well, I have made my decision and it is final. I'd like to be left alone. Left alone? To be doing what? To keep drinking? Listen and listen real good, Prince Uzalima. The kingship of this kingdom will not leave this royal family. You are the next king and that you must become. I see. You are going to force me to become king. I will do everything and anything within my power to make sure she don't ridicule the name of this royal family. All right, Tonyaka, that's enough. Please leave this place while it's my time. And what will you do if I don't leave your place? Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Prince, what is the meaning of this? Keep quiet, else I'm going to do worse. To you. This is not right. Honestly, I don't expect you to do this. I am going to deal with you if you keep talking. Prince, what's the man? I will leave because of the respect I have for you as my older brother. And because you are the crown prince of this kingdom, not because I am scared of you. Welcome, you are going to leave this place because you are scared of me. You are going to leave this place, but can I even make it a couple of years? Now, I cannot say, say, now, you will not like it. I've been one man, Kabao. I've been one man, Kabao. It's okay, I want. I've been one man, Kabao. It's okay, I want. Let's go. It's okay, I want. Let us go. I just got a call from the palace that Prince Onyeka and Uzodima are having problem. Oh my goodness. Are they fighting? How would I know when I haven't gotten to the palace? Hi. What is wrong with these children? What is wrong with them? Anyway, your food is served. You have to eat before you leave. Oh, no. A man whose house is on fire does not chase fat. I'll meet you on the food when I come back. What kind of temptation is this? Huh? Ways of our fathers, we must uphold the tradition of our people. Oh, our tradition is. I poured a drink on him because he spoke to me really. That's what happened. <laughs> I went to see him with Adora to ask him why he refused to pick up the kingship as demanded by the tradition. He refused to do so. <sighs> Rather, he asked us to leave his presence. In attempt to make any other statement, he poured me the wine he was drinking. Now, listen, all of you. This nonsense has to stop. I don't want a repeat of what happened today. People must live in peace. Um, Prince Uzodima, the rites and rituals that will see you become the king of Obama's young kingdom comes up in two days' time. How ready and prepared are you? I'm not prepared. I'm not ready, Uncle. I thought I made myself very clear. 
I already made my stand on this matter. Of fact, I don't know. Why are we going in circles here? Will you shut up? Don't tell me to shut up, uncle. I don't want to be king. Listen, I know what I want and what I do not want. And what I do not want right now is to be your next king. Please. Get your hands off me. Who asked you to speak? Keep quiet. She's your wife. A full member of this family. I'm going to ask you to get out of this place right now. Do you hear me? Please, who's the woman? Are you all right? Uncle, uncle, you know uncle, what uncle, you are doing to me? Uncle, yourself? I am very all right. Please. I am very okay. And what I am doing is trying very hard not to allow you get me into the fetish and devilish things that you people do Hi. all in the name of kingship. I am a Christian. I cannot be your king. Period. Our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh. Tradition is tradition. Walking out on your entire family is totally wrong and unacceptable. I didn't ask you your opinion now. Did I? You do not need to ask for my opinion before I tell you the truth. I am your wife. It is my responsibility to tell you the truth always. I don't need your truth. Keep your truth to yourself. I don't need it. Please. Praise Odim. Your late father left this family in your care. As the first son. Why are you doing everything to tear it apart? Why? Again, I tell you. Your late father will be rolling in his grave right now. Why are you trying very hard for me to hit you? Have I not told you never to speak to me like that again? Zodim, you threatened me again with scrap. Go ahead. What did you say? Stop me. That will not stop me from telling you the truth. Always. Open your eyes. Open your eyes and see that you're doing everything to tear this family apart. I wouldn't have called you if he's here with me. Tell me, what are your findings? Madam, what I found out about your husband is very disturbing. I will advise you leave that marriage. That's if you truly love your life. I don't understand. What don't you understand? Can you please go straight to the point and tell me what you found out about him. I will tell you all that you need to know when we see face to face. This is not what I will say over the phone. <sighs> all right. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. And thank you. Prince Suzorima walked out on me today. Frankly speaking, I have never felt this humiliated all my life. I never expected that Prince Suzorima can act in that way. Honestly. 
at this point, there is nothing anyone will tell me that will make me believe that Uzodim is still interested in the throne of his forefathers. In fact, my greatest worry now is how to get him convinced to do the needful. It would be a heavy slap on my face that I am alive and watch the throne of our forefathers leaving our family to another family. Hey, all because of Uzodima's stupidity. God of mercy. Now, my question is what are you going to do? Princess Nora, where is your husband? Why is it taking him a long time to appear before us? Oh, have you not informed him that we're here already? Oh no, I delivered your message to him. I did. Then, why is he not here now? Hello. I see that you're here again with your man. How can I help you? What kind of question is that, Princess Odemma? An anticipated war does not consume the cripple. We are here to start up the process that will lead to your coronation, your own coronation as our new king. So, why are you not dressed? Go in and dress and let's go for the ritual. My friends, as you can see, we are all set for the sacred rituals. Go in and dress up so that I can hand you over the royal house as the eldest of the royal family. Please, Susan Emma, don't keep us waiting. Oh no, I can see that my uncle, Chief Udemba, standing to your right, clearly did not tell you everything. He did not tell you the truth. Prince Udemba, if I may ask, what truth are you talking about? I am not going to be your king. Shut up. How dare you say such a thing? Do not shut me up. Uncle, why are you trying very hard to get me to do that which I have refused to do? Uh, my elders, please, don't mind my brother. He doesn't know what he's saying. I know exactly what I am saying. I will not be your next king, for I have totally refused to soil my hands with blood. To get involved in some devilish traditional practice all in the name of becoming king. It will not happen. You're tired of standing here with your men, or no? You know what to do. Yeah, who's the man? Who's the man? Come back here! I'm 
Your love. Eh, since when? Please, I am not your love. And I'm sick and tired of this marriage. Allow me to go to my father's house and have peace of mind. Please, now don't go now. Eh? You know that marriage is for better for us. Eh? If you leave me, how do you want me to be now? Eh? Please stay. Eh? Yes. There is absolutely nothing you will say or do here that will make me change my mind. No! There's no point staying in a marriage where my husband cannot perform his conjugal duties on me. Oh, yes, I got the point. Eh? You want me to stay so I will kill me a bit? Ah, ah, no now. Ah, I don't want to kill you. Ah, I've not killed even mosquito before. I'm not going to kill you. Please now. You can't do very much. Mike, much like you are an evil man. A wicked man at that. Allow me to go. I am tired of this marriage. Allow me to go to my father's house. Allow me to go with my life intact. Than to stay here and die for what I don't know. I am too young to die in the hands of an evil man who wants to make money by all means. Please. Stupid man. Yes. You're not my husband, eh? Yes. When my husband come out, no. Get out. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Back, back. Leave this bag. Mike. Don't be too fast. To Mike, make leave this bag. Leave my bag. Leave my bag. Mike, leave my bag. Don't sing for me. Leave my bag. You want to sing now? Who is it? It is me, Prince Onyeka. Onyeka, what do you want? I want to have a word with you. Go ahead, speak. I can hear you. My prince, please open the door first. Onyeka, it is clear that you have nothing to say. My prince, I said open the door. Let's talk like real brothers, please. Our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the I am a noble man of this great land. And I fully understand our customs and traditions very well. Seeing you people, I can see that all is set for the commencement of the ritual process. That will make our crown prince, Prince Uzodima Anoze, the king of our land. But my confusion and worry here is your presence here. Oh no, what brings you and the king's cabinet to my house? Okoro. Son of late Ozalaribe, very great man of his time, a man known for truth, peace, and justice throughout the land of Obama in you. We we'll bring you greetings for the king's cabinet. Oh no, cabinet members, I greet you. So what do I owe this August visit? An abomination has been committed in our great kingdom. Abomination, did you say? Who committed this abomination? And what has it got to do with me and my household? Okoro. You are all in law, Prince of the Man. The fire the commencement of the ritual process that will lead to his own coronation, his own coronation as the new king of this great kingdom, Obama Yubu. And he has the guts to look into our faces and told us that all we are doing is evil. And the ritual process that will lead to the coronation and even the tradition that makes us whom we are is devilish. Allo! Abomination! That is exactly what it is. Hmm! Okoro! Yanabwananti! Anabwananya! You better talk to your daughter and her husband, Prince Uzodema, to do the right thing. Yes, 
they will be made to face the wrath of the land. I hope you know what will happen to you and your family in this type of situation. Okoro, do the need. Do not say you are not wrong. For a station time saves nine. Uncle, he refused to open the door. He said he doesn't want to see or talk to anybody right now. You mean Uzulima said that to you? Yes, he did. Does he know the consequences that will follow such action of his? It is very obvious he doesn't know what he is doing. So, what do we do next? I wish I knew what can be done. Uncle Udema. Ah. Are you saying there's nothing we can do? Huh? How could the prince behave this way? Huh? I am still as confused as you are. What, what is wrong with Prince Uzodema? Huh? Yeah. Huh. This is very strange, you. I still can't believe that Prince Uzodema will act this way. He only wants to put everyone around him into a very big trouble. A very big trouble, you said? How? If we fail to convince him, we might be as communicated from the land. You are joking, right? You mean a joke? Ono Wu and the entire king's cabinet wouldn't have been here to remind me of the consequences if we fail to convince our daughter to talk to him to change his mind and do the needful. If that sounds like a joke, is it a joke to you? Uh -uh. My husband, you are not supposed to be home by now. What happened? The worst has happened. How do you mean? Uh, I mean, come out straight. Okay, family. Could you believe that Prince Uzodima looked the king's council in the face and told them that he does not want to sit on the throne of our forefathers? My goodness. That the traditional rites and all the rituals associated with uh, 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 his ascension to the throne are filled with evil. Can you imagine that? This is serious, though. This is serious. It happened before my very eye. I wish there is something I could do to make him change his mind. My husband, you are not supposed to sound this way. How do you mean? The chief Udemba that I got married to is a man of many sides. He can even make impossibility to become possible. So please, my husband, do something. Don't just be silent. Do something. Save us this embarrassment. Please, I'm begging you. I want to talk to you about your actions towards the entire King's Cabinet members earlier today. There is nothing to talk about. I suggest you go to sleep. 
A man whose house is on fire does not chase after rats. Why have you decided to chase after rats? Even when your house is about to be consumed by the fire you created. What fire? Calling the custom and ritual process that saw your late father emerge as the king of Obama in your kingdom and refusing to take up your position as the next king of this land. It's enough fire to consume the entire royal family. Why are you doing this? No, right. It's very clear to me that there's so much about this land that you do not know. I don't want to go into that tonight. But I'll have you know that I cannot do what they've asked of me because I'm a Christian. You once believed in this tradition. You fought for it, even as a Christian. What happened? Why did you suddenly realize that you're a Christian? I was once blind. But now I can see. You call the custom and tradition of our land evil and blind? Your late father was a Christian and a knight of the Roman Catholic Church. Yet, he held up the custom and tradition of this land as a king. Why are you not following your late father's footprint? My father lived his life the way he wanted. I'm not going to make the same mistakes that my father made. Sweetheart, let me ask you, have you wondered why a crown prince of this land or anyone who is about to be crowned king would get on an ancient royal horse and go to a sacred place? We have a certain ritual that involves blood is performed. Have you wondered why? There's so much going on in this land that you do not know. We are Christians. We're not supposed to join them. No. supposed to do what the Lord says we should do. I hope you remember what the Bible says about idol worship. Mike, you mean Sonia, your wife, is gone like you guys are not married again? Yeah, yes, yes. I begged her not to go, but she wouldn't listen to me. Did she give you any reason for quitting the marriage? No, she didn't. She just woke up one morning with one useless statement that I'm a ritualist and I want to use her for ritual. Can, can you imagine that? What? Can you imagine? W where did she get that from? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think she just wants to go and enjoy her, herself. She wants to continue with that prostitution lifestyle. Oh, this is serious. So, what, what, what are you going to do now? Nothing. I don't even have an intention of going after her for her to come back. No. She doesn't even have any reason to leave the marriage at all. I, I know she just wants to go and complete her prostitution lifestyle. This is serious. So, what are you going to do now? I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. In a week's time, I'll be leaving the country for Paris. I need to go and cool off from all this mess. Are you for real? Yes. When I return, I'll get myself a good woman. Oh. At this point, I'm speechless, bro. You have to be on.
in a situation like this, is there no way out? Jibugemba, when you are with one lady, you are the younger brother of our late king. And you are one of the highly respected chiefs in this kingdom. So I, I am surprised you are... You are the unknown. Traditional Prime Minister of our Kingdom. Does it mean there is no way out of this situation? Uh, Chief Udemba, you see, I, I wish I am in the position to tell you the good news you want to hear. Mm. But I tell you this. The King's Cabinet will surely do what they are supposed to do. If you and your family fail to do the need because a that does not know how to dance, is taught how to do so by the wind. My prince, this your decision is very dangerous. It is capable of destroying all of us. No, my in-law, it will not destroy us. It will liberate us instead. Such devilish practices have kept us captive. Held us down for too many years, my in-law. Huh? It is time for us to stand up as a people and set ourselves free. Oh, my in-law, stop saying what you are saying. What am I saying? What am I saying? You know, it actually beats my imagination that a very good Christian like you would sit here trying very hard to convince me into being a part of that devilish practice. It's not right. No, 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 no. Our tradition is not devilish. You think so? No. This is a long, age-long tradition handed over to us by our forefathers. Even your own father, your late father, was a knight of the Catholic Church and he did it. This is our tradition, our culture, and that is what makes out who we are. My Elo, let me ask you. Do you read the Bible? Yes. Good. You would agree with me that the same Bible that you and I read is against it. Why are you trying very hard to convince me into doing something that is against my Christian faith? Why? Father, if I am to say, I think my husband is right. Why are we Christians if we cannot follow the teachings of God? Will you shut up your mouth? Mara, what is wrong with you? Eh? Have you forgotten that we, your parents, are the same people that introduced you to that same Christianity you are talking about? So why introduce me to it when you knew you were ready to practice it? Tradition has nothing to do with Christianity. We cannot sacrifice our tradition on the altar of Christianity. Christianity is the culture of the white man. Well, my in-law, please, let's... We don't have all day here. Truth is that the both of you, with all due respect, have not made sense to me. So you all can go ahead and do whatever it is you want to do. Uh, but since you cannot convince me otherwise, my decision stands. But Father, he has made his choice. What do you mean? Well, the prince said he doesn't want to be the king. I, I don't know why you are still forcing him to do what he doesn't want to do. He knows what he wants. He's old enough to make his decisions, Father. Ekele, are you sure you are the one talking? Or something is talking through you? I mean, it's a guy here. Obviously, Father. I'm the one talking. Nothing is talking through me. Then, if you are the one talking, it's obvious you do not understand what I have just said. Father, I understood you quite alright. But I still maintain that the prince is old enough to make his decisions. He knows what he wants and no one should make him go against his will for no reason. Uh, well, you've just returned from school, eh? 
go inside. Tell your mother to give you food so that you cool off your attention. You are not you are yourself. I'm running to a meeting. <laughs> Father, he knows what he wants. Mom? Nani. I still can't believe that Prince Zodema looked into our faces and said we make no sense. What is wrong with that young man? What my, is wrong with him? My major problem is not the prince. My major problem is your daughter, Nora. She has taken sides with him. Nora. Yeah. So what do you want us to do now? What kind of stupid question is that? Who? Huh? Eh? None. You should be bothered about what will happen to us if Prince Uzodima refuses to do what he's supposed to do as a prince. Oh. Tell Agnes, stop asking me stupid questions and think of how to talk some sense into your daughter. Eh? Let us see point from our own point of view. Otherwise, we will not be able to convince the prince. You know, here and now, do Nani, Nani, this is getting too much of you. It's getting too much of you. What one is every time? Uh, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter. Is she not also your daughter? Yeah, what is all this? Agnes, we eh? don't have time. Convince your daughter. Otherwise, otherwise. Is she not also your daughter? I didn't know. Otherwise, what will happen? Okay. Every time your daughter, your daughter, your daughter. Go there, open it. Huh? Oh, tradition is tradition. Oh, then I'm not if you love me, if you love me, if you me, if you me, if you me, if you love me, if you me, if you love me, if you love me, if you love me, if you love me, if you we are still talking about this. Uncle, if I had known that this is the reason you assembled all of us here, I would not have honored this meeting. Honestly, I would not have. Uncle, look, enough is enough. Oh yes, enough is enough. I'm a man. I have rights to my choices. I have made a choice, a choice not to be your king. Leave me alone. Those are my Come back here. Are you crazy? Out of your mind. You talk to me in that room, mother, and stay trying to walk out of me. I will at the back of your mind, Uncle, that I have made my decision and it's final. Nothing will make me become a member of your cult. Nothing will make me soil my hand with such devilish practice. It will not happen. Will you stop that madness, Princess Zodima? Stop that madness and stop preventing her tradition as devilish. Oh, yeah, Ka. Keep quiet and let me educate you. What do you know? Huh? What do you know? Just so that you have a few things to say in this meeting. What do you know? Huh? I ask you, Onyeka Chuku, what do you know? How do you describe? A tradition that requires that you soil your hands with blood. All in the name of performing a ritual that enables you to become king. I'm a Christian. My Bible preaches against it. My faith stands against it. I will not do it. And that is final. Who did this to you? Are you here? Nobody. I wish Father we are alive to see what you've become. You are a crown prince for goodness sake. Who's that? Yes. Just get set. Get ready for the rituals. Right. I'm not even moved. I will not. Be a part of this devilish practice, and that is final. Go out there, find yourself another king, not me. I am.
My prince, what brings you to my humble abode? Problem. Problems, you said. What is the matter? Friends, so Zodema, the crown prince, has decided to bring disgrace upon the royal family. My prince, I don't understand what you're saying. What exactly are you trying to say? Princess Zodema has refused to perform the sacred ritual that will lead to his coronation and see him become the next king of our land. Hmm. My prince, I hope you know the gravity of what you just said. I have no reason whatsoever to lie against Prince Ozodima. He said he's a Christian and he's not ready to soil his hands with the devilish act of performing the sacred ritual. May the gods forbid. He called it a devilish act. What is wrong with him? I am not here to find out what is wrong with him or not. I am here for you to consult the gods to find out if I, Prince Onyeka, can become the next king of our land. Onyeka. What is the meaning of what you did yesterday? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Onyek, I have it on good authority that you went to Dikelha's house yesterday. Asked him to consult the gods to see if you can become the next king of this kingdom. Deny that you were not at his place yesterday. And why will I deny the truth? Why? I want to know. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why have you chosen to abandon everything that you have and get yourself involved in this evil act? Why? Stop calling out tradition. Evil. It is what it is, Onyeka. It is what it is, Onyeka Chuku. It is mind-boggling to think that a man like you, with all of your education and everything that you have, have chosen to put all of that aside and get involved. In this evil, your people call tradition. One day, this is not you. I know you. You are under an influence. Who is this man that has brainwashed you? No one has brainwashed me. Rather, you are the one that has been brainwashed by believing in the religion of the white men that has come to destroy us. Watch what you say to me. Why do you believe that a tradition is evil? The white men came here and told you that our culture and traditions are very bad. You believed them. They brought Christianity and said that is the way to go. You believed them. Yet, the same people who brought Christianity divided us. They made us fight one another. They made us hate each other. They made our forefathers sell our brothers and sisters into slavery to suffer and die. Prince Ozodima, Christianity is the white man's way of life. We have our way of life and we must Tradition is tradition, or the Nana Banyo. If 
I still wonder if I actually fathered you, Nora. Father? I don't understand. If I am actually your father, you would listen to me and not whatever your husband, the prince, must have said to you to brainwash you. Father, he has not said anything to brainwash me. So, what did he do to you that made you forget your background, our tradition, and who you are, Nora? We told you respect, Father. Let's call a spade a spade and not a walking tool. Truth is, there is something wrong with our tradition, which is very bad. May the gods twist your mouth to the back for vomiting that rubbish before me. In fact, I cannot sit down here and allow you to vomit such abomination before me. Chief Udema, thank you so much for the cola and the drink. Please, can you tell us the reason you call us for this very meeting? <laughs> None. Um, I know the reason I call this meeting might not sound so right in your ears. But I want you people to think deeply about it. Oh, Chief Udemba, tell us your mind. Hmm? Go ahead and let the cat out of the car. Yes. Um, let me go straight to the point. I want to be the next king of Obama in your kingdom. And I need your support. You're joking, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I expected this reaction from you people. Oh, yes. But let me tell you the truth. I am damn serious about <laughs> it. Chief Udemba, you know too well that it's not possible. You are my very good friend. And I will tell you the bitter truth. What you are asking for is impossible. I mean, you know. What is impossible about this? When the Crown Prince told us clearly that he is not interested in the throne, will Obama and your good kingdom stay without a king? I'm asking you people. Uh, Chief Udeba, remember Prince Onyeka is still alive. Prince Onyeka is not done yet with his education. Eh? He cannot abandon his good life overseas and his education to come here to become your king. Right. Oh. Mm, Chief Udemba, I don't think this is going to be a very simple task to carry out. <laughs> Leave that for me. Just to go home. Think about it. All I need is your support. That's all. My daughter, you need to calm down. Oh. Okay? Father is really taking this whole thing too far. <laughs> you know. Desperate situation, they say, requires desperate measures. What do you mean? You see, this whole thing is not as simple as you people think. Now tell me, how can a crown prince of this land wake up and decide not to take the kingship of this land? Is that possible? Mother, he gave them his reasons. He said that... Don't Tell me that abomination, my daughter. All you need to do is to talk to your husband for him to do the needful. Yes. 
Mother, he has made his decision. And I am with him. Eh? When his decision is about to put all of us and everyone around us into a very big trouble. How? Is that what you mean? How? My daughter, let me tell you something. We might be excommunicated or banished from this kingdom if care is not taken. Are you serious? Yes. Ono and the king's cabinet, they informed us, they reminded us of that the last time they came. My prince, I am totally in support of your actions. Are you sure? Are you sure of what you just said? Yes. You don't believe me? But not that I don't believe you. I just wasn't expecting this to come from you. How about your father, Ikena? Does your father know of your stand on this? Well, not really, but believe me when I say that, I am suddenly behind you. I mean, I will go extra miles to support you on this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for the vote of confidence and support. I really appreciate it. And I assure you that we were going to fight these people to a standstill and get the desired change that we seek. Thank you. I can. I appreciate. That. Who on earth could have believed that Chief Udemba of all people will have interest on the truth? Eh? Honestly speaking, I was very shocked when he made his intention known. You see, that is why they say trust no one. Now, what do you think we should do? What kind of question is that? Do you know that what he wanted from us was for us to give him our full support? And that's all. Hmm. Now, if we will give him our full support, like you said, will other elders and the know who do the same? Look, we have to do what is expected of us first. Don't forget, he has already committed us with his money. Agreed. Okay. He gave us the money. But when he gave us the money, he did not say or make it clear to us that the money was for us to support him. Rather, he kept on saying, go home and think about it. Go home and think about it. Chief Udemba that you and I know cannot just give us a hundred thousand naira each for nothing. Then ask us to go home and think through it with his money in our pockets. Does that not send a strong message to you? I think you, you are very correct. Oh. Uh, but all the same, let us go home and think about it. Like he said, mm. that's all. That's so, it. you know, when you're dealing with somebody like Chifudemba, you have to be very careful. I mean, so mm -hmm. I, I You have to be you. very careful. You are very correct. I agree with you. Well, my husband told me that the process involves shedding of blood and some sacrifices in some secret places. Is it a bad thing for someone to go to the gods with a gift of cow or a goat, which he may end up killing to them to thank them for the things they did for him or even pray to them? Mm. 
quite may not support that entirely. But I don't think it was the blood of an animal that my husband meant when he told me that the process involves shedding of blood. I am from this land. And as a matter of fact, I am a prince. The ritual process that leads to the coronation of a king in this land does not involve the shedding of human blood. Are you serious? I mean, are you telling me the truth? And I have no reason whatsoever to lie to you. The process is a sacred process that helps us not to choose an evil one to be the crown king or someone who has shedded an innocent blood wrongly. Same person has to make a huge prayers and promises to the gods to enrich him with wisdom, truthfulness, and knowledge to lead our people. No evil person will pass through that process and come out alive. Interesting. The only thing that could make your husband act the way he's acting is only if he has a skeleton in his cupboard. If not, tell him to do the need for. I'm not hiding anything from you or anyone. So why are you kicking against the ritual process that leads to your coronation as the king of this land? Why? So you want me to get involved in evil all in the name of becoming king? No. There is nothing evil about it. Rather, the process helps to ensure that no evil man is crowned king in this land. I was also made to understand that there is nothing about human bloodshed in the process. Nora, who have you been talking to? My husband. Why are you not doing what is expected of you? Why? Why are you discrediting the noble process of this coronation? Confusing, Pastor. Confusing? How? Pressure. So much. Shall these people me into idol worshiping? They are trying very hard to get me to do that which is a sin before God. You see, uh, it is not enough to say it. You have to stand your ground as a child of God, a true Christian, and resist in totality whatever that will make you go contrary to your faith and to the teachings of the church. I know who I am, Pastor. 
میں نہ ہو رہا ہم اچھا لوگ کاٹ نو ون ول گیٹ می ٹو ڈو رانگ اگینسٹ مائی کریٹر کاٹ دی میکر آف ہیون اینڈ ارتھ می گاڈ اسٹریٹن یو ایمن My friends, I least expected this from you. You're a Christian. And your late parents were strong Christians. Same process my father passed through before he became the king. That your father, the late king, made such mistake, is it enough reason for you to ask your elder brother to make the same mistake? My father never made any mistake. My father did the right thing. The right thing? I do worshiping. The right thing? Listen to me, Pastor Raymond. The same Chuku Kika Biyama who created heaven and earth, whom we pray to and believe in, is the same God that you pray to and believe in. Hmm, my friends, even when bloodshed is involved, a pastor, I know at some point in the Bible, blood sacrifice was made. And I want you to have this at the back of your mind, that no human blood has ever been shed during or after the process. What we do is to offer animal as a sacrifice to Shukokika Biyama. The same way in your church, your members come to the church for offering with cows, goats, chickens, to thank God for what he has done for them or things he's about to do for them. Have a nice day, Pastor. Hey, our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh, tradition is tradition. Are you serious about what you just said? Do I look like someone who would drive all the way from my house to your house to crack a joke? Ha. I don't expect a man of your caliber to say what you just said. In other words, you are insinuating that I am not fit to be a king. Is that what you are saying? <laughs> I'm very sure you know what my personal answer would be. All the same, I will consult the gods on this. Thank you. <clears throat> so, let me wait for the outcome of your consultations with the gods. Yes. You all are here. Of course. To what do I owe this visit, if I may ask? Princess Odemma, I will come out of the kitchen. 
We have come to find out what has kept you from doing what you know you should do. You speak in parables. Okay, let me make it clear. Why have you not made yourself available for the ritual process that will lead to your emergence as a new king of our kingdom? I thought I made it explicitly clear. But I do not want to be king. I will not involve myself in devilish matters. Prince, what's that, man? What are you who made it in the chair? In the more time of honesty. How dare you call such process a sacred process? An evil practice. What is wrong with you? Do you want to attract the wrath of the gods upon yourself? Hmm. Princess Odemma. It is very, very clear that you want to make yourself available for the devil to use against this great kingdom. Make yourself available for the ritual. Make yourself available for the ritual. Hmm. Else, the royal kingdom will lose the throne and we will be prepared for the consequences that we follow. It's obvious Dikoa does not want me to become the king of Obama in your good kingdom. Why do you say so? It's written all over him. I saw it in his eyes while he was talking to me. Don't you think you might be wrong in your judgment? How do you mean? My husband, I think you should do this. Do what? You should forget about this kingship you are getting yourself involved with. Please! Why do you say so? You have made it clear that Diko Hadi, chief priest of this kingdom, is not in support of you. Don't you think he might work against you if you eventually become the king? Dikoa is so infinitesimal. He is no match. He cannot stand on my way. I sense desperation in your voice. Call it anything you like. But I cannot sit and allow the kingship of this kingdom move away from this family to another family. It's not possible. My prince, it seems you have accepted to perform the ritual. Why would you say that? Walking into the palace, I saw the, um, the Ono and some elders. They were smiling as they, as they were leaving, and that passed some kind of uh, messages to me. Oh, well, they came here telling me to make myself available for, for the ritual. Else the throne would leave this family I would have to deal with the consequences that follow. And what did you say to them? I told them that I will not be a part of that evil process. So why were they smiling as they were leaving? I don't know. I couldn't be bothered. My father will not be happy with this development. I know. So how are you going to handle this? Uh, Ekene, please. Can we drop this topic for now? As it pleases you, my prince. Thank you. Thank you. I've not seen Princess Adora since I returned. Where did she go? Oh, she traveled back to school to get a few things sorted out, but I'm pretty positive that she'll be back in the next few days. How have you been? I've been well, I've been all right. That's good. Honestly, the level of anger and seriousness I saw on the face of Unohu and the other elders 
when they were talking to my husband while I was watching through the window is something to be worried about. This whole thing is really getting out of hand. It is. The worst part is my husband is not even ready to do what they are asking him to do. And the elders, they are not ready to go back on their words. What do we do in this type of situation? Ah, my sister, if I tell you I know what else to do, I am the worst liar in the world. I'm confused. I am. I don't know what else to do. I did though. I did. You know that, that, that night I came back, I met with Prince Sonika. He talked to me and made me understand that the ritual process is not bad and it has nothing to do with, you know, human blood as my husband made it appear. So that night I tried having a conversation with my husband about it. But he yielded nothing positive. If not, my husband will not be telling the elders he's not going to do what they're asking him to do. <sighs> I'm tired. I am tired. What have I not prayed about? How have I not prayed? In which way? In what way? I have prayed and prayed and prayed. I'm tired. I'm tired. I am. Uh, going by what you were told me that happened at the palace, I think what we should be asking ourselves now is which family will they throw up? It's Yes. It has not got into that level. What makes you think it hasn't gotten to that level? <laughs> it's true, We have just returned from the palace where we went to warn the prince. I think we should give him that benefit of doubt for now. Yes, I agree with Ukono. Uh, we don't have to bother ourselves for now about which of the families the throne will move to. Or rather, we should pray for the prince. In that case, um, let's go into other issues but we know in this kingdom. Yes, I think uh, more important issues like the land cases and the rest of them. That land, that, the land you mentioned, that reminds me. You see, the, the problem with that land is the other one close to the stream. Ichi Okono. What was the meaning of what you just did at the meeting a while ago? I don't understand. Uh, what did I do, Chief Ibe? Spare me the pretense. Chief Ibe? Uh, honestly, I am confused and lost here. What did I do? Please tell me. I expected you to present Chief Demba's intention of becoming the next king as soon as Ichi Oba asked where the kingship will move to. You got up and started saying a different thing. Okay. Huh? Okay, now I understand where you are coming from. Uh, but Ibe, you are my very good friend. You should understand. I did what I did for a reason. What reason? What reason? Onyara <laughs> Nuchiya. I wanted to know their mindset. Besides, I did not also want to make the presentation in such a way that they will understand that is Chief Udemba that is pushing to become our next king. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I will handle the situation. It's okay. It's okay. Because mm -hmm. I, I thought I, I I knew we had a plan. You that was why I, I. You know me. You should understand. Mm -hmm. We we have our plans already, so things should go according to plans. The great Dikoha. The mad peace of the gods. 
He that dines and wines with the ancestors. Once again, I humble myself before you. Prince Unyika, hmm? a worthy son of the kingdom. Omoa. I greet you. <laughs> Adikoha, I am here in respect of my last visits to you. I want to know the outcome of your consultation with the gods in respect of becoming the king of our land. You are indeed the son of the soil. I know. The real lion of our late king. You are qualified and free to become the next king of this kingdom. Are you in there? If I look at him, what do you mean? Ask me for you to look at your brother. As an angwa buluo me, may the gods be praised. All the time, all the time. At last, Prince Suzadima will be stopped for bringing shame and disgrace to the royal household and the kingdom at large. The ways of the gods are not like that of men. If a hakuru kage me, my prince. Thank you once again. My prince, mm -hmm. I greet you again. If a kulu kane me, okay, meri de me. My fellow youth, mm -hmm. you see, it is glaring enough to know that things are not moving on well as it's supposed to go in this land. And if care is not taken, I assure you, there is going to be a serious problem in this land. A very serious one. Okay. Um, Kelechi, you have spoken well. Thank you very much. There are too many things going on in this kingdom. But I want you to tell us exactly why you called us for this meeting. You see, our youth leader is very correct when he said there are a lot of things that are going on in this land. But the sole reason I insist we must have this gathering today is this particular issue concerning the throne and the crown prince. Um, Kilichi, you have done well. You see, I've always known you to be a good man. Thank you for making this meeting a success. Thank you. You see, I was actually wondering why our youth leader have been so quiet about this whole thing. Eh? Or them? Uh, well, um, Emeka, mm. that is a very wonderful observation. Um, but then, like I said, this is not the reason we are all here. Eh? For me, as an individual, yes, I took my time, you know, observing things, you know, understanding the whole event and asking myself why. You understand? Now, for this, I'm going to use this opportunity. Uh, I'll use it later. Um, I want to use this opportunity to ask us a few questions that has also bothered me for so long. The first question is this. What should we all do, you know, to ensure that the situation does not go out of control? You know, and then the second question, what should we, the youth of this land, do, you know, to see that the crown prince do the exact thing we all are expecting him to do? Well, I think we should meet with the elders to know the true situation of things. Yes. Okay. Uh, if you ask me, I think that's not the best option here. Okay. I think we need to march to the palace. You know, as huge that we are. Let's face the prince one on one and let him understand that he has no other option than to do what is expected of him. Mother man doesn't know she's in mom. This thing is getting out of hand. Emeka, eh? uh, um, you have a great point there. But we, I support you. But we, the youth executive, we can't just go there alone. We have to mobilize others so that when we get there, the prince will know that we, the youth, are not happy. Yes. He's done. Um, my fellow youth, honestly, I am very happy right now with the you know development so far so good. Okay. You know, it shows that the youth have the interest of this land at heart. Yes. You know, Obi is right. 
the whole youth of this land should go to the palace. Don't you think it's good to be your Um my youth, my fellow youth. Uh, going to the palace in mass, in my own opinion, I think it will raise more attention to the royal household. Uh -huh. Yes, they may be scared, thinking that the youth are coming, you know, to fight them or something. That was why I was uh, trying to discuss with the, uh, <laughs> the youth leader, saying, in my own opinion, it will be very much better if we just go there in handy. That way, the prince will be relaxed to see us and talk with us. They will seize that same opportunity and sound it to him as a warning that he does not have another option. No. Yes. That he does not have another choice than doing the same thing every other single person in this land is expecting him to do. Another wisdom. Yes. Great to you to win. Presido. Presido. Great to you to win. Presido. Um, you all have spoken well. Hmm? Thank you very much. I suggest you all should go home. I will plan when we move. Uh, Presido, you have spoken well. But the thing is, let it not look as if we are, we are, we are, we are done talking and we not decide on the date on when to go. You understand? Because me, I'm a very busy person. Eh? Time now, money. You understand? Mm, yeah, I'm traveling right. tomorrow. There's a business I'm going to do tomorrow and I can't afford to miss it. So we need to choose a date. Like today, 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 today. let's go. Like even as we speak. Kelechi, Kelechi, Kelechi. I don't think I'll be chance for that. Wow. Uh, you see, this issue now, we have to apply diplomacy in it. It's very correct. It's not what we should, you know, we should rush into. Mm. I suggest we should, let's just take it one after the another, please. No problem, let's go home, I'll get back to you. Huh? Uh, yeah. Anyhow, we'll mm. just, yeah, right. we'll do it. I'm, I'm just um, trying to let us understand that. Uh, no, no problem. problem. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, uh, authorize. Okay. You're welcome, Princess Alex. And what brings you to my office at this time of the day? I am here to talk to you about my brother, the crowned prince of our land. I hope all is well. All is not well, Pastor Raymond. My brother is about to destroy the entire kingdom. The entire kingdom? Yes! What did he do? He has vehemently refused to become the next king. He said he will never perform this sacred ritual that will lead to his coronation as king. I just returned from school and I was told that the honor and the entire king's cabinet came to the palace to warn him to do what is right, else... The throne will move to another family. Yes. And the royal family will suffer the consequences that follows. You are aware of this already? Yes. I know everything that has been happening. So what stop you from talking to him to do the right thing? I know my brother. He respects you a lot. I know he will listen to you. Princess Adora, I've talked to your elder brother, Prince Ozadema. And we're on the same page. Listen. He cannot perform the said ritual because it is evil. It is evil. The church is against such practice. Hmm, let me see. Now I know where the problem is coming from. You are among those misleading my brother. Pastor Raymond, I am very, very disappointed at you. How could you advise the prince to do something that will work against the royal family? Oh, come on, Princess Adora. Stop sounding like an unbeliever. You are a Christian. This has nothing to do with Christianity. Why must we throw away our entire customs and tradition? All because we are Christians. Princess Andorra, you're getting it all wrong. Remember that the church is against idol worshipping. How can you, as a Christian, support your brother to indulge in idol worship just because he wants to become the next king? <sighs> I should have known that coming here will not yield any positive fruits. Pastor Raymond, I want you to have this at the back of your mind that I am very, very disappointed at you. Ah! 
Princess Adora, remember you are a Christian. Brother, are you sure people are taking the right step? Right step? What are you talking about? I heard everything people discussed in your meeting today. Nkoli, the last time I checked, you are not one of the youth executives. So you we are busy listening to our conversation. You are very correct. I am not part of your youth executive. And I don't have the right to eavesdrop on your meeting. But we all are from this kingdom. And if anything goes wrong, it will affect all of us. That's a good reason we have to act fast before something gets wrong. We all cannot sit back and watch things go wrong. Well, if you say so, no problem. But my only concern is that you are my elder brother. Who happens to be the one involved? If anything should happen to you. Um, nothing will happen to me. The gods knows that I'm doing the right thing. Ha! Nay, what is it? What is it? Ha! Nay, why are you taking my food away? So you have the girl to ask me that stupid question? Eh? What this? What this? You're not ashamed of yourself? What did I do that made you to be talking to me like this? What is it again? Your daughter and her husband are about to put us for force in a very big problem. And you are here eating. You're not even bothered about what is going to be for us very soon. Agnes, do fear one. So, what do you want me to do? You are the one who insisted we should marry our daughter away to the prince. Just for you to answer uh, the, 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 the Queen Mother. Queen Mother, my foot. If you know what is good for you, go and advise the prince eh, to do the needful. Otherwise, there is not going to be any food for you in this house again. Never. Oh, my husband, please don't say that again. I have said it and it is final. No more eating in this house for you. Our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh. Tradition is tradition. Odina na banyo. If a jimala nino. If you lo mena na. O mena na. O mena na. O mena na. O gadigi day. O mena na banyo. Adora! Adora! Is something wrong with you? Adora, are you out of your mind? You dare to report me to the pastor? What is what is your problem? Are you are you crazy? Huh? Yes! I have gone crazy! And you're the reason for my madness! You are about to destroy what father labored for and stood for. I am going to shut you up with a slap if you do not shut up right now. You can go ahead and slap me as many times as you want. But it's not going to stop me from telling you the truth. Brother, why are you bent on destroying this royal family? Why? Why? You know, it beats my imagination to think that a very beautiful woman like you, young and intelligent, is so interested in some devilish, archaic tradition in this modern age. Adora, Awadiwadi, is everything okay with you? What you're asking for, Adora, is barbaric. Barbaric? Barbaric, brother? What is barbaric about a unique tradition that ensures we do not have evil man as king? 
What is barbaric about a tradition that discourages the shedding of human blood? What is barbaric about a tradition that ensures that any man that sits on the throne is truthful and just? Brother, it is only a man that has something up his sleeves will be against this wonderful, beautiful tradition of ours. That brings me to ask you, is there something you're hiding from us, from your family? Talk to me. Adora. Deceased. Tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh, tradition is tradition. I was made to understand that the ritual process leading to anyone becoming king of this land does not require shedding of human blood. I was also told that this process has to ensure that no man with human blood on his hands or any man with evil intentions for this land is crowned king. I don't know who fed you with that nonsense. Tradition is tradition for the Nana Banyo. If a Jimalan, you know, if you love Nana. I am a daughter of this land, your wife. Am I not supposed to know certain things concerning this land? A kingdom that I am supposed to rule with you, my husband. Nora, I will not be performing any devilish ritual. So get that very stupid illusion of you becoming the queen of this kingdom someday out of your head. Why are you seriously running away from what tradition demands of you? Prince Suzodima, what skeleton do you have in your cupboard? What kind of nonsense talk is that? Call it whatever you like. I need you to open up and tell me exactly what happened the day you came back and claimed that you had an accident and rushed the person you knocked down to the hospital. What other truth do you want to hear besides what I told you the day I came home? If you really had an accident of such magnitude, how come there was no single scratch on your car that day? Are you interrogating me, Nora? Are 
Are you insinuating that I have blood on my hands? I seek truth. I want to know why my husband, the crown prince of this land, an heir to the throne, does not want to do what is expected of him. Your best is not good enough. What is the one with the Being confused is not a good quality. That should be associated with one that is to become the next queen of Obama in your Google kingdom. What do you want me to do? Stand up and go extra mile to ensure that your husband does the right thing. Posterity will not forgive you if you don't do your duty and he fails. From the look on your faces, I can tell that you all are not happy. What yes. is the matter? Yes, we are not happy. We are here to ask you why you have refused to obey our tradition. Have I spoken your mind? Yes, you have. I see. Let's not beat about the bush. I will not be your next king. For I will not involve myself in that barbaric tradition. I see it as evil. I see it as wrong before God. So I suggest that all of you Get yourselves together, go back home and save yourselves the stress. Princess Odima, are you walking out of the entire youth of this great kingdom? Listen to me. When the music changes, the dance also changes. Oh, uh, my fellow youths, I sincerely apologize for the misconduct of the crown prince. Please. Find a place in your heart to forgive him, for he does not know what he's doing. My prince, we are not here to listen to your apologies. Tell the crown prince to obey our tradition, else the entire royal family should get ready to dance to the music we play for them. Princess Odima, it is very clear to me that you're all out to destroy the wonderful legacy that our father has built over the years. But I have good news for you. I will not sit and watch you destroy that and achieve your evil end. What would you do? Force me to get involved in this barbaric tradition? Our tradition is not barbaric. Not at all. And to answer your question, I will not force you to do anything. But I have decided to stop you from achieving that evil end by doing that which you've refused to do. You know you have just lied to yourself. Oh, you lie. Not while I'm alive. And what will you do if I try it? I'll go to any land to stop you and do everything. Prince Zodima. Is that his friends or what? 
Onyeka, you are not going to abandon everything that you have worked for in the United States. Come back here. Begin to contest the throne with me. Bring yourself back here and begin to propagate and project some ancient barbaric tradition. Please take it. Our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh, tradition is tradition. What in an abandoned? If a gibbalan, you know, if you look at a man, Addiction of our people It's about my brother on the throne. Forget it. I'm not interested. Honey, I think you're taking this whole thing too far. Good night, Nora. Go to bed. My husband, please listen to me. I want you to have a rethink. So, Chief Udimba, so tell me what brings you to my house. Whatever the toad is chasing in a broad daylight must be dear to it. I agree with you. I have waited to hear from you concerning what I told you the last time. For which you promised to lay us with the gods. I've been here for you. That's why I'm here. Chief Udemba, the gods have not said anything. That is why you didn't get a message from me. Do you mean that the gods have not said anything? The gods are silent. Dika, the gods must not be silent at this hour. No, 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 this is not the right time. The gods must speak. Yes, their silence is not good at this very moment. It will destroy a lot of things in this kingdom. No, they must speak, oh. They must speak. 
This is not the time to remain silent. Chief Udemba, I am just an ordinary messenger of the gods. Who am I to speak when the gods have not spoken? They must speak. There is something go wrong in this kingdom. How can they remain silent? It's not time for them to remain silent. It's not true. They must talk. Because I tell them to talk. They must talk. What do you mean? Are they deaf and dumb? They must talk. Watch your words. Chief Udemba, watch your words. That is his cup of tea. I have made my decision, and my decision is final. So what happens to your education? I don't know for now. Don't you think your father will not be happy with you if you abandon your education because of the throne? He really wanted you to become a medical doctor. Oh no, well, let me ask you one simple question. Which one is more important, being a medical doctor or to secure the throne and at the same time to secure the culture and tradition of our people? Which one is more important? May the will of the gods be done. Now you come, you say... Exactly. He said I should um, go ahead. Good. But I hope you are aware that you will not perform this ritual or be crowned king if you are not married. Let me a pack of cold food, two glasses of water, a small spoon. As it pleases my princess. Oh, my princess. To be honest with you, I don't think you see what about this. You think so? Yes, I do. I mean, he can't possibly want to be the king when his elder brother, I mean, the heir apparent to the throne, is still much alive. It's not possible. You don't know Prince Onyeka very well. Trust me. I can tell you when he is serious and when he's joking. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Yes. You know, I I know he's just trying to do everything possible to save the throne and the royal family. But my problem right now. Is my husband. He has vowed to stop you at all costs. Ha! Huh. That is a big problem. Serious problem. The problem is more than serious. 